Hi my stylist, in this video I'm going to show you how I put together this super cute pink assorted backdrop for my client's event. Welcome to Event Styles LLC, where we bring the style to your events. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set up a black photographer sheet on my backdrop stand. This stand is from Georgia Expo. Be sure to check out my latest balloon video where I went into detail about how I put it together and the size and then this black photographer sheet is from Amazon. All of the links are going to be down in the description box below. Next we're going to go ahead and clamp on a white sheet and we are pairing it with a black sheet because we don't want it to be see-through. Now it's time to start putting up the pink drapes. These are also from Amazon. I'm going to position them with the help from my beautiful mom. She's gonna help me for this whole job. I'm gonna position them and then I'm going to clamp everything into place. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to like, comment down below what you think and subscribe. For the smaller pieces that I'm attaching right now, all I did was cut off about a foot of the curtains using regular scissors. So I'm going to take clamps and attach it to the actual backdrop stand and then I'm going to take Velcro and give the impression that it's one piece of curtain just folded up but, but in actuality it's detached and it'll make more sense in a second. Now I'm going to prep the steamer. Um, I'm going to fill it up with some water. I brought some bottled water. That's my trick. Uh, I'm going to plug it in and get it ready to steam out all those wrinkles. Majority of the balloons I actually blew up beforehand before I even arrived to the venue. For transportation purposes, I have them in 50 gallon garbage bags. These are bags that I purchased from Amazon and information about that is going to be down in the description box below. I do have multiple shades of pink, um, white and gold. Um, and you're gonna see me put them together in just a second. I did blow up some balloons on site, but because I had majority of the balloons already blown up, it made the setup time much, much quicker. The structure of my balloon garland is going to run across the top of the balloon stand and then down the left hand side of it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is build my base. I'm gonna have three different shades of pink and then from there I'm going to incorporate different shades of colors based on what my client asked for. If you are enjoying this video, go ahead and give me a like, comment down below what you're thinking, and subscribe. Next, I'm gonna move on to positioning the custom acrylic sign that I also made for this look. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position it and then I'm gonna take some Velcro and I'm gonna attach it into place. If you would like a tutorial on how I put together this custom acrylic sign, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. Before I even arrived to the venue, I blew up white, light pink and gold five inch balloons. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my little clusters that I already made and I'm gonna start arranging them throughout my base. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to like, comment down below what you think, and subscribe.
And just like that, my friends, it is done. I did go ahead and add some confetti balloons to the perimeter of the balloon garland, as well as some helium centerpieces for the table. If you made it this far into the video, go ahead and give me a like, comment down below. Thank you so, so much. And don't forget to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend about this video. Thank you for watching the video. Let us know what you think in the comment sections down below and be sure to follow us on our other social media pages to stay connected with us and we'll see you in the next video.